Right now, the Department of Environment is um, having a discussion with various stakeholders now um, to initiate a program wherein we have some kind of recycling or collection program for used acid batteries. So this is batteries that are no longer for used batteries that contain lead that are no longer um, um, no longer work. So they are basically a waste. Um, the program basically is an initiative wherein we try um, have a system of collection for and afterwards some kind of disposal, whether it be through locally, which we don't think it will be locally, um, uh, exportation to for final uh, recycling. Um, the purpose is that used acid batteries is a hazardous waste, and it does requires special management. Um, we don't necessarily have the the um, the facilities to handle this, so we're we're trying to ha be a catalyst wherein um, industry or or retailers or whosoever has an interest in it to capitalize on it and also um, bring awareness to people that hey this use the acid batteries is not your everyday household item your household um, waste it. If you if you don't handle it properly, you can have impacts to health and environment. Um, it, 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 improper management can lead to lead poisoning. Um, it can have effects on children, on um, the vulnerable population. Um, the sulfuric acid in the in the in the in the in the battery can, if disposed improperly, can have impacts to the water. To the, it can um, the the it becomes a. a it transports the lead particulates now and can take it downstream or into water supplies. So it's just an initiative wherein we're trying to partner with different stakeholders to bring awareness about this. Um, right now it's an, a pretty initial conversation. There are companies that have interest. Some companies are doing it. Some people are already handling it. And we just want to make sure that it's done right. We actually have um, international commitments on how we should handle these types of waste, especially when it considers to transboundary movement in, in, in that um, we start exporting this material um, to a neighboring country or to wherever. So Belize has um, obligations on international conventions. No? Um, so we're just trying to make piece all of these things together and, and have an avenue so that people can do it in a proper way, dispose of it, collect it, and are very um, aware of the risks involved and if they're going to engage in it, what are the precautions that they need to take.